Also on this upload page, you'll notice right here at the top two pictograms, one that says still incomplete and one that says approved. If you click on those, it'll take you to a forum post that has examples of approved measurements and measurements that are marked as incomplete. Um, so that should give you uh, some like eye training as to whether or not your measurement is going to be marked as approved after you upload it. This is a good example of a couple of things. Um, one thing that we really like and one thing that we would prefer that you did differently. Number one, we really like that the ripple is so low here. So definitely uh, less than 10 dB of ripple here through the operating range of the speaker. But one thing that's a little bit strange is that there seems to still be signal down here, even though the coherence has dropped down to zero. And that's because this measurement used polar averaging. And let me show you the difference between polar and complex averaging. So I have two measurements here. They're both the exact same input pairs, but one is set to complex and one is set to polar. I'm going to turn them both on together and take a measurement for you. When signal noise ratio is high, polar and complex averaging produce the almost the exact same thing, which you can see here in blue on top of red. Okay through you know the vast majority here it's exactly the same thing now where we start to see a difference is where we see a drop in coherence so as signal to noise ratio gets low we see also the magnitude take a bigger dip here so it seems such a small difference here that you might not think it's important but if i go to the little bit to the left here and scroll down now we start to see a bigger difference because here we're definitely getting into the noise, okay? So we're looking at four, five, six, eight hertz, okay? This speaker that I'm measuring right now is definitely not playing down there. But uh, this blue trace is still kind of up here. We, maybe we would think it's doing something it's pretty far down, but this red trace is much farther down. So long story short, uh, we recommend that you use complex averaging if that is an option on your audio analyzer. Okay, so I'm gonna click here and go back to the default view here. Another thing about my view here is if you wanna make your graph here look similar to the graph on Tracebook, notice that the Y limits here on the graph are from plus 30 to minus 30, uh, and the tick marks are set on 10 dB increments. So if you can change those in your audio analyzer, it might look something like this, magnitude range plus 30 minus 30, and Y grid interval of 10.